Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today I want to talk to you about container selection for your tomato plants. And I'm going to use the patio hybrid, which is the plant you can see right in a right in the picture. It's in a two and a half gallon bucket. It's been growing with my tomatoes in the five gallon containers and it's doing pretty well. Again, that's a two and a half gallon container and there's no reservoir. There's no plastic saucer like I have on my other tomatoes and it's doing pretty good. However, and it's now July, the heat here is going to be 90 plus for four to six straight weeks. So it does need that saucer. The saucer will provide enough water for my container tomatoes, the five gallon and the two and a half gallons, so that they can survive a full day. Even when I water them uh, in the morning, if I don't have the reserve, they're dried out by the time I get home from work. So you do have to pay attention to the watering needs of your plants. But getting back to the the Princess Patio Hybrid, or Patio Princess Hybrid. You can see in a two and a half gallon container, it's doing pretty well. Good size, good tomatoes, not bad. When you come over here, this one I started after that plant by about probably two weeks, and there are two Patio Princess Hybrids in there, and you can see how well they're doing. Now they are starting to yellow. They were sitting on my picnic table and don't have a saucer yet, but I will put one under there give them some feeding and they should do pretty good. But you can see just the difference between the two and a half gallon container and the five and a half gallon container. This five or five gallon container is holding two plants. There are lots of tomatoes in there. The plants are bigger than the two and a half gallon container. Now I'm gonna cut the video and walk over to two grow bags and a hay bale that's growing the Patio Princess too, and you can see how they're struggling. Those tomatoes were planted just about the same time as the one that's in this picture here. These are Patio Princess hybrids I planted in a hay bale a while back. This is my first time growing tomatoes in a hay bale, and I don't think the experiment is that successful. You can see that these tomatoes are smaller. Yes, they are producing but they aren't any bigger, actually they are smaller than the tomatoes that are in the two and a half gallon container. They're a lot smaller than the tomatoes that are in the five gallon container. And the hay bale, to be honest with you, seemed to bring in just lots of insects and it was more trouble than it was worth. I'll probably compost this bale after these tomatoes produce and, and I'm done with hay bales. When I go over to the grow bags, you can see the grow bag tomatoes are pretty beat up but they did get bigger than the tomatoes you're looking at right now. I guess if I was gonna go over the benefits of a hay bale, a hay bale does a great job of holding moisture. These aren't too beat up from drying out, but they're just not thriving for some reason. And I'm sure it's you know somewhat technique related, but they got a lot of liquid fertilizer and they got a lot of care just like my other container tomatoes and they just didn't thrive. Here's some of my other container tomatoes and this is my experimental area. In the back are five gallon tomatoes grown in buckets just like the ones on my deck. However, there's no saucer holding a water reserve. And in Maryland Zone 7, once it hits July, the temperatures are over 90 for a good six weeks. You need to have a water reserve. I water these in the morning just like my deck tomatoes. By the time I come back in the evening from work, they're dried out. So you definitely want to have a strategy that you need a container that's going to hold enough moisture for you to be able to water it in the morning and then water it again in the evening. Or you have to be in a zone where you know the moisture will stay in the plant. If your tomato plants dry out completely, you see the damage that starts happening. The leaves start drying out and they start yellowing. Down here are my grow bags. These are coconut husk core or core coconut bags. And it's basically the shredded husk of coconut. And they hold a lot of water, but they're just way too small for my area. These are Patio Princess hybrids. And you can see that they're just dried out. Yes, they produce tomatoes, but they're a whole lot smaller than the two and a half gallon container and then the five gallon container. The grow bags, you know, work, but they only worked until July, when the uh, end of June, when the heat started getting really bad. And there's just no way that I can keep them watered. So you want to keep that in mind. These are uh, Rio tomatoes. That's a bigger determinant variety. You can see that whole plant is dried out. And that's just because I can't keep them watered. So it's important to keep in mind a couple of things. You have to recognize what zone you're in. And if you get heat that's 90 degrees plus for four to six weeks, 
like Maryland Zone 7, you must have a container that can hold the moisture or your tomatoes are going to do great through most of May and June and once the heat comes, they're going to start looking like this. And this is all related to a watering issue. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therusticgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.